Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay, and, and we, we are, are Paro DJ, DJ, and welcome to Amsterdam. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, that's not the name of the ship. <laughs> we are here on Amacerto for our first ever river cruise. To say we are excited is an understatement. I am like, I don't know, so We're excited. Ecstatic. That's what <laughs> yeah. we are, but this is, I think it's called the best of the Netherlands mm -hmm. and Belgium. Yeah. We go to a lot of places. I can pronounce most of them. Mm -hmm. Not going to try to say them right now. Some days we have two excursions in a day, and then you hmm. have free time to walk around. We're going to be able to see land the whole time. You don't get seasick because you're not in the ocean. That's true. You get river Unless sick. it's like, you know, white caps on the river, which is very unusual. I'm so excited. Yeah, if you start rolling on the <laughs> river. Anyway, we uh, flew in, what, a couple of days ago? We took a red eye, so time is confusing right yeah. now. Plus, we're six hours off from our normal brain Basically, time. it was like a 30-hour travel day from the time we woke <laughs> up in Florida to by the time we got to Amsterdam. So it was a long day. Yeah. Or we're, two days. We're here. We're relatively well-adjusted. <laughs> so let's, I guess, throw it back a little bit and tell you how we got here through the check-in process and all that. And uh, we'll eventually get into where we stayed, which was the Moxie near mm -hmm. the airport. And we'll get into some other fun stuff like that. But. Exactly. For now, come on. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Well, first steps on Ama. There we go. Well, that was super easy. A little lobby style check in there. Now we get to hang out in the lounge if we so desire. Oh, did it start raining again? They've got the coffee machine. All sorts of stuff here to fix it up. Oh, tea selection. Super casual boarding process, though. Oh, we got bistro lunch, it says. We got a little flicker going on in here, but I think it corrects itself after a minute. Anyway, here we are. Oh, see, the flicker just stopped. All right, gotta figure that out. A little library over here to the side, just off the main lounge. They've got what they call their bistro lunch with salad, soup, beverages here. Oh, we got fruits, brownies. We can do a quick public restroom tour. So the restrooms here in the, uh, well, they're kind of on deck too, um, are just one-offs. Single rooms, they got nice little hand towels, soapy stuff. Me. Very nice. You are kindly invited to make your way to the reception to start your check-in process. Well, our cabin is ready. We are getting checked in here at the main lobby. Well, now we're going to escort down the hall to our cabin. We have made it to the cabin. So we are in 228, which I think is a category C on this vessel. Let's see what this room's all about. Okay. Bad puns. Well, let's start here at the door. Oh, nothing really much to see on the door. There's our thermostat. Bathroom is directly next to that. Whoop! Hey, we got a robe in here. Use those little hooks. Oh, a little corner glass shower unit with some products in there. A little toileting zone. And of course, the sink. Ooh. Oh, I was looking for storage. I see, it's behind the mirror. They've given us some products. Oh, we've also got a little bit of storage down below, I guess, and there's a hair dryer down there too. Nifty, tissues and whatnot. Now, one thing we've noticed in Europe is that washcloths don't typically seem to be provided. I'm not sure if we can ask for them. Most hotels have been able to give them, but we've got towels, hand towels, and there is a bath mat. All right, so front door, bathroom door. Now we have some closets. Let's just get it. Let's just get a, the scope of the room. Now we do have like a French balcony style. Yep. Here's where they keep their D's in this room. <laughs> Mirror above the bed. Anything around the corner? Yeah, nightstands. Mm, I don't see too much in the way of power. I'll have to investigate that. I uh, see. Here's our closet. That's a nice tall double door model. Oh, there's the safety information I was used to seeing on the cabin door. Anything exciting happening? Oh, yeah. There's our shelves. Is that laundry bag? Some soap. A safe. The other robe. Was there an umbrella in here and I just missed it? Oh, you're right. A length mirror in there, too. Oh, over here on the desk, we've got some bottles of water. Now, these are complimentary. We've got a apple Mac Macintosh. Mac, Mac, Mac apple. 
Um, it's down here. Fridge? Mmm, fridgy. There's some glasses in there. What's that thing? Those are your, um, oh. your short excursions, I think. Well, not those, but... Quiet box. Well, yeah, maybe. That's cool. And we'll cabinet up top. Let's check out our balcony. We got some chairs here. So we should have like a sliding door. Yeah. But right now we're looking at the streets of Amsterdam. There we go. Can you imagine? That's so cool. That bug just came in when you opened that door. I'm not sure if the camera caught that bug or not, but that was amazing. We'll, we'll set him free there. Hello, friend. Thank you. Make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> so these views will change as we put her on rolling down the river. But it's kind of like an infinite balcony like some of the main, major cruise ships have. You just turn your chairs around. You don't go outside, but True. this is outside right here. So yeah. I like it. I like it too. All right, let me investigate. This is my side. So we got a couple of drawers. Anything happening in there? Not really. Like a little travel clock. Here's some um, hand cream and lamp. I love lamp. <laughs> well, there's the phone over here at the desk. This looks like this might be the only power outlet we have. And of course, bring a converter. We're on 220. So we've got not just an adapter, but a converter so that we can power properly. So here on the bed, we've got some luggage tags. What is this underneath it? A, a little bag. Cute. All right, this is like an onboard thingamajig, as well as a copy of the Daily Cruiser. I picked up one at the desk, so now I can see the front and the back of the Daily Cruiser all at once. It's like a toiletry bag. You put like stuff in it. Very nice. Made from recycled plastic bottles. Even nicer. I see this one page was the onboard wellness. We've got morning stretch classes, core strengthening classes, other things. Oh, there we go. Thanks, lighting. All right, I guess all of this is included. Yeah. The only things that are upcharge are the spa oh. and alcohol, um, besides beer and wine, like pretty much all the time, except for the cocktail hour. And then beer and wine and soft drinks would be upcharged, not during meal times or the cocktail hour. That's it. Everything else is included. Oh, not gratuities, though. Those are extra, too. <laughs> we'll have to get into a whole thing about what's included yeah, and yeah. not once we we'll learn it all. You. Y'all, we have got a lot of information to unpack about this first river cruise experience. So we'll learn as we go. And now it's actually time to physically unpack and put things in closets and drawers. So look at this paper real quick too. So here is the schedule for the day. We've got check-in, which actually happened early. Tea time, hospitality desk. Oh, there's your deadline to sign up for some excursions, which we've signed up for all of ours in the app, which is wonderful. Safety briefing and a welcome cocktail at six o'clock. Then dinner, tunes, and late night snacks. Hmm. We've been finding things around the cabin called Pure Herbs branded things, like this sewing kit and this shoe polish sponge. Now I know we're in Amsterdam. Is there anything I need to know about these Pure Herbs products? Hmm. hmm probably not. That's cool though. Ooh, look at all these choices on this. Apple Apple Macintosh thing. We got TV channels, entertainment, music. I can play on the internet. Onboard safety. What can I look at? Life aboard. Press OK to watch the Life aboard video. Mm, maybe later. <laughs> TV channels that we get. They have a. Is that my room? Oh, we have a bow camera. I think that's bow. Anniversary. And we got like CNBC, BBC World, France 24, MTV. Nice, Nick. That's it. So I think we have 17 channels if you count the safety movie. Wow. And then there's a movie section down here. Movies or TV series. Look at all this. Drama, comedy, action, documentaries. We might not even leave the cabin. I can watch the sound of music. Yeah, we found this big thing that pulls out from my side of the bed. It's like it's on wheels. It doesn't really go in and out like a drawer. I don't know what it is. We're probably not going to use it for anything, but it's there. It looks like a drawer. It does. <laughs> like a giant one. And now we're back out for some adventure. Let's go look at the top side of this ship. It's got four decks in total. I kind of want to see what's up on deck four. Two inch on. Yeah, the ceiling height is good. The hall width is passable. There is an elevator on here, but I'm sure we're just going to climb some stairs. <laughs> She's like, we are not taking that. No way. Oh, there's the deck map. How about that? Oh, nice big round elevator. All right, so we need to come sign up for chef's table. Then maybe we'll go topside. 
Chef's table reservations, check. Now to access the outside, you do that from the outside. <laughs> Hello again, Amsterdam. Oh, there's a pool. All right, so we'll go up another half deck to access that. Everything's done in half decks, it seems. Look at that big walking track, giant chess. The pool's warm. It's actually a nice ass pool for this Gosh, is, is this a bar at the end of the yeah. pool? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Could take a peek over at the Avalon ship over there too. Fresh towels, used towels. Well, let's do some laps. Three foot pool depth. Do they have a cool pool over there too? They have a little jacuzzi. We got cornhole right here you can play. Nice. Got deck chairs all down here. Ooh, let me see if I can block the wind. It is a little windy. There's some tables. Oh, this is a nice little covered area. Not sure what happens up here other than awesomeness, but I guess we'll find out. So there's our covered chairs. Oh, I see umbrellas even further back. Now this is the terminal that the big ships normally use, like the ocean liner, so it's funny they got a big like walkway that they could put down there. What is back here? Ah, smoking section. There it is, right here on the back of the open deck. Ooh, we'll have to check out the rest of this deck later. We just made some plans. Fun fact, Jason and Elisa from EECC Travels are also on this cruise. We ran into them up on the top deck, and I think we're going to go strolling around Amsterdam together. It was raining earlier, but it's cleared up nicely. I think we got time for a quick jaunt into town. That's yeah, funny. When you come down here, you can see how the ships are stacked. There's two Vikings next to each other. Here we are. I'm a Certo, and there's a, an Avalon vessel next to us. I don't know what that little thing out there is. like a vending machine restaurant. Okay, Jason was fascinated and I'm like, I'm, I'm fascinated by this too. Look at all this stuff. They're like, what's behind door number two? Wiener. Looks like they've also got counter service too. All right, onward, just had to stop for that. <laughs> well, forgive my pronunciation skills, but we've come over here to what I believe is called the Odekirk, which is a, a giant church structure. Google tells me that this is Amsterdam's oldest building, but somehow it only got 3.5 stars on TripAdvisor. What? Churros, crepes, pizza, Casino. lingerie, casinos. Oh, there's a place called Mama Pancake. I think they got stroop waffles here. All right, I might resist the temptation for now. They call them syrup waffles here, actually. Is that the same thing? Oh, we're definitely not here for tulip season. Right, let's cut through. Oh, wow. All right, cutting through to the church. All right, we made it here to the Oda Kirk officially. Now, we have to be careful about how we record around here because it's in the middle of the red light district. And we just walked by some doors and some ladies opened them up and said some words. They were clothed. You know what I mean, but we're here to look at the church. We're here for the church, right? Yeah. Here, for the church. here we are. <laughs> oh, now we've come to a place called Chaco Delight. What are we finding in here? <gasps> okay. Hold on. This is exciting. They have pre-packaged versions. Nice. Oh, we're going for it. We got to do it. You get the big one. Got the big one. We got large strip waffle. They heated it up in a nice little oven thing and they put caramel on top. It's the real deal, guys. We're here. We're finally doing the real. After many munch pack versions <laughs> and things like that, we're finally here for the real thing. We got the biggest one you can find. Yes! <laughs> Let's see how she, how she feels about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not too sweet, yeah? No. It's warm, so it's like really extra good. It's legit. Oh, they had.
had gelato and stuff here too. Let the wandering continue. Oh, we got a Christmas tree up. It's making me feel festive. I mean, you know, it's only November stale for us, but cute. It might be December by the time these videos come out. I don't know, actually. Looks like it's decorated for Valentine's Day, but I love it. Oh, this must be the main drag. We got Primark, TK Maxx, I see KFC, McDonald's. Uh, we made it down to the area of the Royal Palace. Oh, a giant Madame Tussauds, I think. Starting to get a little darker. I love these lights. I wish I was in Dixie. here at the pier. We just Ubered over to save some time because we do have to be back on board. By six o'clock we have a mandatory meeting, safety drill, and then dinner. So let's go get back on board. There is our ship in the dark. You can see the chef's table room on the back. We signed up for that on evening three. Thank you. Oh, Christine Duffy is the godmother of Amacerto. Anyway, into the meeting. Oh, we got some flicker. Calm down, flicker. Well, we got a little cocktail hour happening right now. Alcohol and piano music at Mustard Drill. It's our kind of Mustard Drill. All right, we're River Cruise people now, y'all. <laughs> They brought around the pigs in blankets. Okay, this is my kind of cruise line now. Once again, good evening and very warm welcome here on board the Armacerto. My name is Betty. I'll be your cruise manager this week here on our Holland and Belgium itinerary. And I hope you're excited. I'm the captain. I'm the first captain here. I'm not alone. I have seven crew members with me, seven nautical team, on behalf of Amo Water Racing, all crew of Amacerto. Thank you very much for choosing us, and I would like to say cheers. Welcome on board. Welcome on board. Cheers. But it's really important for us, for you also, to know what's going to happen in case of a likely situation. This is the live check at home that I received from the crew member. Breakfast, lunch, dinner will be served downstairs. And here in the lunch, we have some options. All right, the briefing is over, but they talk about excursions, they talk about safety, they talk about all kinds of stuff, and it is now dinner time. No assigned seating, you just wander until you see a table you like. Oh, we've got oil and vinegar on the table, pepper, various condiments. They've delivered some fresh bread for the table. Oh, looks like the menus are on the way. One of the wines of the evening that are included with dinner was, is it a Saint Laurent for the red or a Riesling for the white? <laughs> They're included with the meal.
done with dinner and now it is time to wander into the lounge and snag some seats for the upcoming musician. Which is pretty empty in here right now so we can get a good feel for the lounge. So there's our little stage area. There's where the food was earlier. Yeah, I'm assuming they're gonna stand here and play this way. But anyway, oh, the lights are turning on and off. There is the lounge in a nutshell. And the bar right back there. Well, our entertainment for the evening is this gentleman who apparently was on a version of The Voice, I guess, like The Voice Netherlands or some such thing. We'll have to Google him. In the lounge, we have for you Erwin Nijhoff performing rock music. So come and join us 9 o'clock in our lounge. Yeah. to find a pleasant rest wishes from our housekeeper and we have one chocolate on the pillow and it's on my side oh yeah I don't know what kind of chocolate but it looks delicious I guess if D had one maybe it I guess it fell on the floor or anything oh well mine now good morning it's after midnight and jet lag lag <laughs> is rough and so is speaking you know no, it is <laughs> you know, we partied too hard that's exactly what happened we had fun though how was your first day on board i'm a chair <laughs> way different than i expected honestly like from getting on you just basically walk on they mm -hmm. take your luggage there's no security checks nothing like that no you just ID. go and they feed you they give you champagne then you're able to just wander off and do what you want and come back and do your muster drill super simple yeah like 
non-stressful at all. <laughs> yeah, and good. we had fancy guitar tunes, which mm -hmm. were very exciting, and then it turned into like DJ hour. We eventually ended up with the iPad getting to pick our own songs. So everybody else, including the DJ, went to bed. Yeah, it's midnight something. <laughs> And we have to be up early. So. Oh yeah, we have like a, anyway, we got some stuff going on tomorrow. Yeah. Let's go ahead and dig into dinner okay. and then we're going to bed. So that's the plan. You, so um, the basic dinner is, I guess, a four course meal. Mm -hmm. We did, I think I mentioned earlier, sign up for the chef's table, which is a seven course meal. Which is included. Yeah. You just have to make sure you sign up for it. Anyway, let's dig into these four courses. Yeah. You started off with the salad. Yeah, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it's uh, kind of like a take on a cob salad with like an adjacent type of coleslaw thing. Yeah, I think it was called a Chester salad. Chester salad. It was yeah. really good. All of the flavors blended nicely. Whatever dressing they used was great. Delicious. A large portion, too. So did it have dressing? Because I tasted the coleslaw, and it had yeah. like a creamy dressing. Yeah, there's creamy stuff. And it, okay. The coleslaw didn't have a dressing, though. Oh. Uh -huh. Gotcha. I had the coconut shrimp cake. Now, I didn't really taste coconut in this, but it was shrimpy. And it was cakey. It was cooked well. I liked the texture. Everything about it was good. Um, it had like a pea puree on the plate. But I didn't mind that. I like peas. So yeah, I would, I would, I would recommend that one. Mm -hmm. There is your tomato consomme. Yeah. So I think I was picturing like tomato soup that's a little bit thicker. Um, this is the consomme, which is more like broth mm -hmm. from the tomato, but it's beautiful flavors. I believe that was like a pasta thing in there. I didn't really know. Oh yeah. But it tasted good and hot and seasoned well. <laughs> Nice. I got the mushroom soup. I forget the exact words for it. Now, mine I was expecting to be thicker, too. Now, the word consomme, I know that's usually a thin thing involving broth. This was kind of thin and brothy, too, but I liked the croutons. The flavor was good. I wish it was a little bit thicker, but I can't really complain about it. It was yeah. a good soup. You got the fish. The sea bass with lots of veggies. Um, this was perfect. Perfect portion. Perfect temperature, no bones in the fish, which is huge plus. Oh, yeah. And the seasoning was spot on with lots of veggies. Yummy. I got the beef option. Now, I have to say, this was one of the tenderest, tastiest beefs I've had in a long time. Wow. Uh, we had some table mates, and they said the same thing. Mm -hmm. They both got the beef, and it was stinking delicious. One of the, the, the things, you know, it's late, late, that I like about my plate and your plate is like the exploration of different vegetables. Yeah. I figured out what most of them were, but there were a couple I didn't know. Root vegetables. Yeah, yeah. and there was polenta down there too. And a shallot. <laughs> and a rutabaga. Or a swede, as they call it. Oh, anyway, uh, yeah. Good stuff. You got the strawberries. Something, something. you saw the name. Um, so it's basically like strawberry gelato where you frozen yogurt or ice cream. I don't really know if it's strawberry. Something cold um, mm. with like a little fancy cookie and some whipped cream. And it was really tasty. And then there's the strawberry on the bottom as well. Oh, a surprise. Yeah. I also got kind of like a strawberry frozen thing. So it's interesting. It was like two different presentations. Yeah. Um, underneath that sauce, which was an orange sabayon, there was a pistachio cake, like a little muffin. Flavors came together really well. Um, I like the frozenness of the thang thang and it's just like poppy seed. It was. Oh, yeah. The poppy seed in the strawberry frozen part. Mm -hmm. Interesting combinations, but. Very good. Very like. fast service. Like, you didn't have to wait very long. Hour and a half they total. sat everybody at once, and they were very generous with, like, the wine or the mm. soft drinks or whatever you ordered that was included, just constantly bringing it. So, amazing service so far. Yeah. That's true. Anyway, tomorrow, guess what? We're still in Amsterdam. We haven't moved. Yeah, but we're doing cool stuff. Yeah, More so cool we'll stuff. start the day in Amsterdam and we're going to end the day somewhere else. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll see you then. <laughs>